Hi, I'm Erica with My Case. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create an online lead form. Online lead forms allow you to gather information about prospective clients to help qualify them. Once you accept their case or legal matter, this information will map to fields at the contact and case level in my case, making the intake process easier. So let's create one. The first thing we'll wanna do is navigate to the online leads form page. To do that, go to settings, all settings, then select intake forms, where you will find tabs for client intake forms and online lead forms. Let's go to the online lead forms tab where you can see we've created a sample intake form for you to get started. Now we're going to create a new one. Let's do that by clicking the add button and selecting online lead form. The next thing we need to do is add some basic information. We need to decide if we want authorized website domains. The required authorized domain checkbox is automatically selected meaning the contact us form only works on the website domains provided in the authorized website domain section. If you want a more generic embeddable link, deselect it. Then we need to enter a form name. Let's call this one criminal defense and we'll use it for criminal defense leads. If you'd like, you can also add a client facing form introduction to provide more information, instructions, or context to prospective clients. Note, this is optional and not required to create your form. We'll start with adding fields that are already mapped to information at the contact or case level in my case. So when you convert a lead to a customer, everything is correctly mapped to the relevant contact or case. The first field, name, is a contact field and is always required, and this field cannot be deleted. You can change how the readers see the field by entering a new field label in the client-friendly label field. Note that there are several standard contact fields, but none for case fields. All case fields are custom fields. To add another field, select the drop down menu for the field category and choose whether you want the field to map to contact or a case field. Or you can select unmapped if you don't want or need to store the data in my case. Next, Select the My Case field at the contact or case level where you want to store the form's field information when it is submitted. For your firm, you might want to know a prospective client's email, phone number, or address. All you need to do is click the dropdown and select the field. Alternatively, you can create custom fields on the fly as you build your form by selecting Create a Custom Field, which is the last option on the field's dropdown menu. You'll name the field and decide on the field type. Your options are short text, long text, yes or no, currency, single select, and date. Let's name this preferred meeting date and date for the type. Then click the add custom field button. Then we will decide if these fields are required by checking the required checkbox or leaving it blank. Next, let's decide if we wanna make any of these fields more client friendly. This is what your clients will see when they fill out the form. So instead of preferred meeting date, let's change it to select a date for your first meeting. We can add additional fields that are associated with a case. To create a case field, let's select the add field button, select case field, and then select from the dropdown or add a custom field. Let's say we wanna know if the case is related to an accident. We will select accident location from the dropdown we want the client to see that when they fill out their online lead form, so we will leave the field as is. All of the fields we just added are mapped to fields in my case. You can also add unmapped fields that will not map to any fields in my case so that you can cover any bit of information that you want to know about your client. You can add fields or headers by clicking the add field or add header button. We can also customize the theme by clicking on each element and changing the color and font. Then we can preview our form and once it looks how we want it to, save it. You can create as many online lead forms as you'd like, perhaps one for each of your practice areas or one for each of your marketing channels to help track return on investment. Once your form has been created, you can choose how to share it. You can select the link icon to generate a link to the form or get HTML code that can be embedded into your website. 
After submitting an online lead form, a lead will be recorded in the online lead sub tab within leads. Firm users can approve or delete leads. Approving a lead officially creates the lead details page and a potential case attaches the intake form and puts the lead into the first column on the lead status board. You can access the lead details page and find it in search. With online lead forms, your firm allows potential clients to fill out their information on your website. That information is automatically collected and turned into a lead within your MyCase account.